that song, the, the main lyric of that song, that right there, the main lyric of that song, when it's over, when it's over, brothers, it's over. It's over. You know, I've had a chance to sleep on it, and I still think it's time to start over. It's time to rebuild. Brothers, we've been, in, we've been getting embarrassed. Last year, last season, when we lost against the Bears, the Bears and Mitchell Trubisky, who isn't even playing anymore, that's when I was like, man, something needs to change. And I thought it was the coaching staff, but it, it, it looks like the, the thing is, was the coaching staff really the problem? Maybe it was the problem. We understand Jerry Jones is the main problem, but we're not going to get anything where he's not going to change. So the next best thing would be to be to just tank, to destroy everything, rebuild and start anew. I mean, it, of course it's Jerry Jones' fault because he's paying these players. He's setting the tone. He's setting the culture. But we honestly can't change that. We can't, we can't change that. He's not going to step down until he dies. So the only thing we can control is what we put out on the field. And our current configuration of players, we, we cannot win with this current configuration of players. It's like Michael Jordan said in his documentary. <laughs> yeah, the people in the front office, they're important. They make decisions and, you know, they, they configure the team. But at the end, it's all about the players. The players is what's win the championships. The most important aspect of the team is the players. That's what Michael Jordan said in his documentary, and I fully agree with that. It's the players. Brothers, we have three huge contracts that we have to get rid of, and we have to figure out a way to get draft picks for them. Ezekiel Elliott, Demarcus Lawrence, and Amari Cooper. Jerry Jones decided to pay those guys. So it's his fault. We have to figure out a way to unload those contracts and get something back for them. If we can get a third or fourth for Ezekiel Elliott or Amari Cooper, I'm happy with that. If we can get a fourth or a fifth, fifth for D-Law, I would be happy with that. And with those draft picks, we can really accelerate the rebuilding process. And brothers, we have way too many holes on this team. We have to start rebuilding now. We have to start rebuilding now. And I know you guys are tired. And see, the fans, they don't want to go... 4 and 12, 13 and 3, 2 and 14. They don't want to sacrifice. They're okay. You want to know why Jerry Jones likes 8 and 8 so much? Because our fans love 8 and 8. He knows this. He knows our fan base loves 8 and 8. That's why fans, they're so stuck up Dak's ass. That's why they're so afraid to rebuild. That's why they're so afraid to just start all over because they don't want to go through 5 and 11, 6 and 10, 4 and 12. They don't want to go through that. Brothers, the worst thing a team can do is be good enough to go 8-8 eight and eight or make it to the playoffs and lose in the first round every year. That is the worst thing you can do. That is a toxic cycle. Because you're not going to be good enough. You're never going to be good enough to win a championship. But you're not going to be bad enough to rebuild your team and get the right draft picks. You're always going to be stuck somewhere in the middle. And, and being stuck in purgatory is no way to, to grow your franchise, to, to better your franchise for the future. If you're going to be horrible, stay horrible, collect the draft picks, and rebuild. That's what Oakland did. That's what Oakland did. Or, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Las Vegas. I hate... I, and fuck it, they're Oakland to me still. I don't give a shit. We have to rebuild. It's over. Brothers, I'm not, I, I don't, I hope we don't bring Dak back. I really don't. 
because he's going to be way too expensive to bring back. You can't put damn near a fourth of your cap space into one player who isn't good enough to elevate the team. You can't. We have to let him walk. Go to let him go. He should go to Denver, San Francisco. Go go somewhere else, man. It's time for us to re restart everything. We like the thing is. We got a new coach in there, Mike McCarthy. He still he doesn't look very impressive, but you know what? At least give him a chance to see if he can rebuild this team within the next three to four years. Let's see if he can do it. Or if you're just like, fuck it, if you want a complete rebuild, fire him after this season, go for Lincoln Riley or Urban Meyer. I would be okay with that too. I would I would actually be ecstatic if we could bring in Lincoln Riley or Urban Meyer. That would be great. I would love that. I don't see it happening, but that would be great. But the next best thing is if we're not going to get rid of Mike McCarthy after one season, at least get rid of everything else and let him like rebuild the team in his image, see where that could take us. We have to just, comp we have to scorch the earth. Brothers, we've been getting progressively worse since 2016. The proof is in the pudding. We went 13-3 and three in 2016. 2017, we went 9-7. and seven. 2018, we had a slight uptick, went 10-6. and six, And even still, we got embarrassed in the divisional round. The next year, we fall to 8-8. Eight and eight. And then the year after that, this season, we're 2-4. and four. Dak went 1-3. and three. Players are not going to get better year after year after year. They get worse due to age, due to injury. There's no way you can tell me that Dak is going to be better after this season. He's going to be, he's going to be a year older. He's already got a catastrophic injury under his belt. He may never be the same. He may be like Carson Wentz. After, his, after he tore his ACL back in 2017, he was never the same. We may get the same from Dak. Never the same. So we should avoid paying him, let him walk to another team. Let's do, let's fall, let's do the Washington Redskins route. The Washington Redskins, they saw that Kirk Cousins wasn't good enough, and they let him go. They let another team overpay for him. And now the Minnesota Vikings are paying the price. I don't want us to fall for the same trap. Let him walk. Let another team overpay for him. He's not going to get us to a Super Bowl anyway. Let, we have to just complete, we have to start over. Rebuild the defense. Rebuild the offensive line. We've built an offensive line. We can do it again. We just need draft picks. And that's when the overpriced contracts come into play. We've rebuilt this offensive line before. We can do it again. With the defensive side of the ball, we can. Trevon Diggs is okay. I think he'll get better with time as he understands the game a little bit better. We can draft another solid defensive back another solid quarterback and a, and a solid safety, that should shore up the secondary. And also, we can't forget about free agency. Getting rid of these overpaid contracts and not overpaying for Dak, we can afford quality pieces in free agency. You don't build a team through free agency, but you can acquire a solid piece that can put you over the edge. And we can do that. Brothers, we have to start the process now. And what's crazy is the NFC East is so horrible. Andy Dalton is the best quarterback in this division. And we play the Washington Redskins and the Philadelphia Eagles in the upcoming weeks. And I can see him winning both of those games and ruining everything. <laughs> I can see. The thing is, he more than likely, he's going to win those two games. And we're going to be in the driver's seat of the NFC East at 4-4. Four and four. 
we would probably clinch the NFC East at 4-4. Four and four. <laughs> And that's going to ruin everything, man. I, I hope we can lose every game. I hope we, I hope we can lose every game this go, going forward, but that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And just our luck, the Eagles are going to suck so bad, and then they're going to like... <laughs> They're going to have all these draft, But you know what? They got Howie Roseman. He can't draft for shit. So, you know, there's hope for that. So even if they do suck and they get high draft picks, Howie Roseman can't draft for shit anyway. So we're okay. <laughs> Brothers, it's, it's time to start the rebuilding process. Get rid of everything now. The only pieces I would keep, of course, you keep CeeDee Lamb. Of course, you keep Trayvon Diggs. Those are your recent draft picks. I'm, would I keep Michael Gallup? Uh, I'm not quite sure about Michael Gallup. I know he's going to demand some big money. I know a team is going to offer him big money. Um, it probably won't make sense to keep him in the long run. But you will see about that. But everything else, everything can go. The only two players on this team that I'm willing to keep are CeeDee Lamb and Trayvon Diggs. Everyone else can go. The offensive line, nobody worth keeping. Alden Smith, we're not going to be able to keep him. Some team is going to pay him in the offseason. He's going to be gone. But other than him, there's nobody on the defensive line that I'm willing to keep. LVE. I'm not sure if he, I don't I'm not sure if he's gonna be able to hold up. Jalen Smith can go. Everybody in the secondary other than Trayvon Diggs can go. Everybody on the offensive side of the ball, other than CeeDee Lamb, can go. Michael Gallup is on that border edge. But everybody else can go. Dak can go. Zeke can go. Amari can go. Everybody on the offensive line can go. We need to move on from Tyron Smith. Uh, Zach Martin doesn't look too great. You know, he's getting smashed up now. He's getting older. Brothers, it's like the band Sugar Ray just said. It's over. It's over. Time to rebuild. Time to start anew.